Moving on to 26th question. In the given figure, the side QR of triangle PQR is produced to a point S if the bisectors of angle PQR and angle PRS meet at point T, then prove that angle QTR is equal to half times angle QPR. Now moving on to solution. So here triangle PQR is given such that QR is extended to S and the bisector of PQR is intersecting the bisector of PRS at T. He asks us to prove that angle QTR that is this angle is equal to half times angle PQR. Now in solution let us consider triangle PQR. We know that in any triangle external angle is equal to sum of two opposite interior angles. Therefore here we can say that the exterior angle which is nothing but angle PRS is equal to the sum of two opposite interior angles that is nothing but angle QPR plus angle PQR. Now let us also consider in triangle QTR. In this also the external angle will be equal to sum of two opposite interior angles that is nothing but angle TRS is equal to angle TQR plus angle QTR. Now we know that QT is bisector of angle Q. Therefore we can say that angle TQR is nothing but half times angle PQR and also we have TR is bisector of angle P R S. Therefore, we can say that angle T R P or angle T R S is equal to half times angle P R S. <coughs> Now let us name these equations as 1, 2, 3 and 4. Here we have angle TRS is equal to half times angle PRS. Therefore we can write the second equation as half times angle PRS is equal to angle TQR plus angle QTR that implies angle PRS is equal to 2 times angle TQR plus 2 times angle QTR. But here 2 times angle TQR is nothing but angle PQR. plus 2 times angle QTR. Now let us write the first equation underneath it. Then we get angle PRS is equal to angle QPR plus angle PQR. So let us subtract this. Then we get 0 is equal to angle PQR minus angle PQR will be cancelled. 2 times angle QTR minus angle QPR that implies angle QTR is equal to half times angle QPR. This is what the required proof for us.